Hi guys, this is Adam and this is our last tutorial about the CSV helper. Um, so in this tutorial we will send the inform send our list from the controller to our view. And as you can see, uh, we defined our list, clients display. So we have to return this clients to display. Uh, so return view, clients to display. And now we have to go back to our index. Uh, view and type using CSV dot models. The reason why I have to do it is is exactly the same as the um, namespace namespace convention uh, in controllers or in models. So now if I just say using CSV dot models, that means that I'm using this namespace. So if I try to create our model, so we want to say this uh, view will expect model uh, of any type. So this will be a list of our client's display. So as we can see, we define the client's display over here in our uh, model clients.cs. Uh, if I wouldn't say using csv.models, if I just, um, oops, that was, sorry, in Razor actually there's a bit different, it's an add symbol and star. So as you can see, uh, the clients to display this namespace uh, doesn't exist. So what we can do, we, we can search, just simply say uh, our csv, so this is our project, dot models, dot clients display. So you have two choices. You can either uh, say using csv.model or you can just um, explicitly display the path to, um, to your class. Um, so we can keep it this way. Um, so we have list. So when we have a list, list is I enumerable type. That means we can, um, it's a collection of items. So we can very easily perform the for each. Uh, we built a small table and in, inside the table we'll have um, table row and we'll define all our headers so th, th um, will be name so exactly the same fields as we have in in the columns from our CSV file so if I just open it so we'll define name surname date of birth sex and fun so surname Date of birth, or actually, we can say date of birth. Phone and sex. It doesn't matter really here because, as you can see, sex is before the phone, but it depends on you. You can say, um, d d depends how you grab the information from our. Um, from our list. So now we perform the for each. So for each for each var c in our model we want to create a new table row and create a table data. So as we defined in our table header name our table data will be c which is a single object from our model dot and we have a property called name then we can copy that a few times one two three four five it's gonna be a bit faster so c name then we have c dot surname then we have c uh, DOB we have C dot fun and we have C and dot sex the last one so everything sh should work fine but what I can see now we will have an error once we uh, run our application the reason is that uh, it tries to f if if we launched our application it will uh, run our uh, first uh, index action and because 
uh, we haven't defined the model here it's returning nothing that means the model uh, our model is null therefore we can't perform an f for each operation um, and therefore it will crash so the best way to avoid it uh, this issue is just to say if our model simply is not equal to null so if sorry I made a small mistake so if model and we don't have, need to have two add symbols uh, so if model is not equal to null perform the forage operation otherwise do nothing uh, so let's just test the application so okay so we have our table we upload our file name to CSV open upload and everything works fine um, except, except the date of birth we can get rid of the t uh, time we only need a um, date information so the, the best way to do it is the ob dot to short date string and one thing that I would like to point here is that when you running the when you run the application in the back mode um, you can make all changes uh, in your um, view however you can't do any changes in the controller or in the model so keep that in mind so if I refresh the screen um, upload the file once again open upload and date of birth is just the date and uh, I will be releasing a new tutorials in the future uh, I will focus on on link and how we can uh, connect to database uh, using uh, .NET and display information from there okay thanks guys for watching and see you later